Hello, and welcome to the prayerful discernment process that will lead to the election and ordination of our Bishop Suffragan. In Matthew's Gospel, when Mary Magdalene and the other Mary arrive at Jesus' tomb early in the morning, they find it empty. Strangely, there is no body. Confused, shaken, thinking the body has been stolen by political enemies or ravaged by wild beasts, they encounter an angel who says this to them. Come, see the place, says the angel, where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples he has been raised from the dead, and indeed he is going ahead of you to Galilee. That's where you'll see him. At the last two annual conventions of our diocese, in my pastoral address, I've used the image of New Testament Galilee as a way of describing the missionary context that we are living in now. Last year, the Diocesan Council, after the convention, composed a helpful summary statement of what this Galilean context is and the ministry of the church in such a time as this. It began with these words. Galilee, 2,000 years ago, looked a lot like the world today. Unpredictable, polarized, rapidly changing, unstable, and religiously pluralistic. Jesus chose to go there first when he rose from the dead. He called his disciples to follow him there. He calls us to meet him there in mission and in ministry today. The church in Galilee ministers to people who have never heard of Jesus, communicates using current and ever-changing technology, goes out to the soccer fields, the campuses, the cafes, the ghettos, the barrios, the streets, to take the gospel to where the people are. It is not bound by bricks and mortars, and it engages and welcomes the diversity of the culture around it. The church in Galilee must be, by definition, a profoundly missionary church, a church that is going out. And that is precisely where the Bishop Suffragan becomes important. I believe that the next stage of our missionary development is to move forward together, to live, to share, and to witness to the gospel of Jesus Christ in the missionary context of Galilee. I believe further that we need to be a community of people who reflect the radical welcome and hospitality of Jesus of Nazareth in our churches and in the world. And I believe that we have to move beyond the doors of the church to reflect that way of the gospel in the world. And that way of the gospel matters. It is my hope that we will elect and ordain a Bishop Suffragan to become a partner with us, to provide Episcopal leadership with us, moving forward together beyond the doors of the church into the world, sharing and witnessing to the gospel of Jesus Christ. I see the Bishop Suffragan being the hub, the connecting person, the personal portal, if you will, for congregations, clergy, and the entire diocese moving beyond the doors of the church into the world. We must find ways to reach people who are not being reached with the good news of God in Christ that are authentic and genuine to us in the Episcopal tradition and in ways that are not dependent upon brick and mortar and that use the resources that we already have, the time, talent, and treasure that has already been entrusted to us. We need the Bishop Suffragan to help us coordinate this effort, to help us inspire this effort, and to help us put feet on it. I see the Bishop Suffragan further working with me and the canons and working with our clergy and congregations. Further, the Bishop Suffragan will have oversight responsibility for working with various specific program areas of our diocesan life. He or she will have oversight responsibility for our ministry in higher education, working together with and providing supervision for our chaplains in their work on the various campuses and working together with the Commission on Ministry to Higher Education in their work of expanding and deepening the presence of the Episcopal Church on college campuses, community colleges, and in educational institutions. Further, the Bishop Suffragan will be responsible for our young adult ministry, uh, being the supervisor of our young adult missioner, and working together with him and others in helping the diocese to minister effectively with and to communities of young adults. The Bishop Suffragan will have oversight responsibility for the expansion and the development of the ministry of deacons in the diocese. He or she will be the bishop responsible 
for the ordination process, the process of discernment and formation, working together with the Committee on the Diaconate, School of Ministry, and the Commission on Ministry for the Diaconate. The Bishop Suffragan will also be responsible and have oversight for outreach and social justice ministries in the diocese, including uh, diocesan-wide efforts similar to the Nets for Life, working with the various committees that are engaged in that, working together with the Episcopal Farm Workers Ministry in the Diocese of East Carolina, working together on our global relationships and global mission, and having responsibility as bishop for both companion diocese relationships and our continued work in support of Episcopal relief and development. The Bishop Suffragan will have oversight responsibilities of our ecumenical and interfaith work, working together with our ecumenical and interfaith officer in the various task forces and groups that are relating to our brothers and sisters of other faith traditions. In addition to these responsibilities, which are particularly related to our being the church in Galilee, um, every bishop has responsibility for participating in the life of the wider church, and participating in the apostolic ministry of the House of Bishops, our general convention, the bishops of the fourth province, the bishops of North Carolina. Further, the Bishop Suffragan will share with me in the work of visiting our congregations for confirmation and other special occasions, will participate in ordaining persons to the priesthood, ordaining persons to the diaconate, and will participate and share in the life of a bishop in the diocese. The Bishop Suffragan will be responsible for coordinating the ministry of support that our chaplains for the retired clergy and their spouses uh, continue to have, and will join with me in a variety of other ways that we as bishops seek to represent the people of God in the Episcopal Diocese of North Carolina. I see the Bishop Suffragan as a partner to join with me, to join with our canons to the ordinary and our regionally based canons in working together in partnership with the people of the diocese to help to move us forward as a church that witnesses faithfully to the gospel of Jesus Christ in the missionary context that we are calling Galilee. It is an exciting opportunity a remarkable possibility, and we pray God's blessing on our discernment and prayer as we seek a Bishop Suffragan for the Diocese of North Carolina. God bless you, and keep the faith. If you seek the risen one, if you seek the risen one,